the absence of the video last week. I had a big week, big weekend the week before. And I just didn't have time to get a video done. But this week, it's all about a brushless system. If you're looking for brushless uh, running action, not the video for you. If you're looking for a bunch of information to better choose a brushless system, I'll try and give you everything I can as fast as I can. So, if you're going to a brushless system, you probably want more speed, you probably want a little more torque, and you probably want that lower maintenance. All are big things that I enjoy. But, there's a ton of ESC and motor options. So I'm going to try and give you the uh, the most unbiased opinion I can here. I don't get support from any of the companies that I'm uh, uh, going to recommend today. So this is just an unbiased opinion. I've ran a lot of brushless motors in these trucks from 2000 to 4000 kV, you know, 10.5 uh, to 21.5 range as far as uh, the in runners go. I've run out runners as well. I've run censored and censored lists. As far as choosing a motor sensorless just take that off the table right away the castle short course systems or anything like that not an option just get it out don't use it not don't even think about it <laughs> i've ran them on the rocks they're they're just useless um and and arguing otherwise is, is just not worth it so moving on the sweet spot range that i found for speed with these type of trucks if you're going to use it for the rock racing type situation but you know some throw some crawling in there throw some fast sections in there uh you know don't be afraid for it to to take some you know some little jumps or anything like that that sweet spot is right around that 3000 kv range now that kind of gives you options of the 13.5 teakin motor great motor been super impressed with it however um it is it can be just a little lacking if you get these trucks bound up much. But if you're looking for a little bit of a budget option, I mean, I say budget, it's not a, it's not a cheap motor, but it's a cheaper of the motors that I recommend. It's, um, it's a good way to go. However, if you want to step up to a motor that is um, higher powered, a ton of torque, good top end speed, um, and something that I've found to be just my ideal mix for these trucks, I'm going to suggest uh, the Tekken Rock 412 3100 KV. I've ran, uh, before this, what I was running is the uh, Pro 4 3300 KV. Great motor as well, but this Rock motor has a better, smoother, low-end startup speed. Gives you a little bit more usefulness of that low-end torque. So, this has been my hands-down motor of choice for several months now. I took this motor out of my uh, Viterra Twin Hammers. I don't care for that truck and I didn't feel the need to leave my good electronics in it. So that is the motor that is going to be seen in this truck from now on. It's, a, it's just a solid motor. It is fairly expensive, but I found it to be worth every penny. Now, to control that motor, again, we're only talking censored. And my choice of censored ESC for the Wraith has been the Mama Max Pro. I like the... Uh, larger surface area of the heat sink it has over something like the Tekken RS or RS Pro. Um, the RX-8 is a fantastic ESC, but it's fairly expensive. These things can be found, uh, if you're hunting, you can find them for about 99 bucks, brand new. Uh, I know RPP had them on sale a, a few weeks ago for $99, and I've seen them on eBay as of late for $99 new. But they can fluctuate up a little bit. I think they're, uh, I think this one was 120 but it's still cheaper than some of the other options. So, um, again, it's a, uh, it's a robust ESC. Uh, no support uh, for me uh, from Castle. So, um, I'm, it's an unbiased as far as that goes as well. But just a great ESC. The, uh, the fan is nice, although that fan can be kind of loud and can sometimes be annoying. So, um, I've never had heat issues, though, with running without a fan. I've waterproofed the ESC uh, below it with RTV, sealed it up, and then just used the bare heat sink with no problems whatsoever. So if you uh, if you sometimes get as annoyed as I do by the noise of those fans, just unplug it or yank it off there and you're, you'll be just right, fine. Guys, as far as install goes of this stuff, I'm not going to go over the whole install. It's pretty simple. Uh, the motor with that standard eighth inch diameter shaft, you can use the existing pinion gear you have. Uh, while I do suggest going to 32 pitch when you do this, um, 
you can use whatever you have. I will be going to 32 pitch here in the next couple of weeks, but uh, I'll try and limp it through this weekend with that little 48 pitch stuff and hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully it survives long enough to have a little bit of fun. Anyway, uh, I'll be installing the Mama Max Pro in the location where I've got the, uh, the other ESC already between the front shock mounts. And uh, I'll just, I'm going to swap out this uh, BEC for the one that I've got in there just because it's, uh, this is already wired up. It'll just make this install a little bit easier on me. So I'm not going to go through that whole thing. I'm sure you guys can figure out how to put uh, an ESC into the truck without uh, too much guidance. So that's all I got for this week, guys. Um, so again, sorry for the absence of the video last week. I hope there was some good info in here that maybe you didn't know if you're trying to find a good brushless system. But um, that's all I got for now. And uh, I'm excited to get this thing running. And I really uh, think that the brushless system can bring out exactly what this rig is capable of now um, with how we built everything else up over the, the last nearly 20 weeks. So uh, we'll see you guys next Thursday. Hopefully I'll have some video from Crawlapalooza. But uh, we'll see. I, I plan to be pretty busy trying to get everything running as smoothly as I want. So anyway, uh, we'll see you guys next week. And sorry for such a long video.